all right what is up everybody welcome to the channel so today we're just going to do a quick flight with my uh p51 uh and guys i love this thing this is probably my this is not not probably this is my favorite rc plane right now it's just nice my well i'll just say my favorite four channel RC plane. It's just easy to fly. Guys, I just put lights on it. A little bit of duct tape. It's a little bit ghetto, but also makes it difficult to uh, get the battery in there. But here, let's turn the controller on. See if we can plug this in. Come on now getting kind of dark I came at at dusk uh, just so that check out these lights yeah there we go plug nice in there makes this it's a really tight fit for the battery in here don't want to I time that my close but there we go got close we're over here at a, we've got a football field over here and we got two baseball fields. We're gonna head over to the football field because that is where they got like green grass, it's a lot nicer. But up, down, we've got power, here we go. Kinda hard to see. Especially when you're not hard to tell which direction it's going when it's not going towards you. Oh, fail. So I have another two channel plane that has lights just like this. Green lights with white on the end. And I had found online this is part of what I'm worried about about doing it at night is when you crash the propeller you know comes off and that's a good thing because you don't want the propeller to break but so I went this way up oh, there it is hopefully I didn't step on it Looks all good. Whoa, turn off. Accidentally hit the throttle when I set the controller down. So, I don't know if I'm in camera view, but because I got a hat mount right now, but you just pop it right back on. It should be good to go. Now I use, all right, here we go. This is a little bit more difficult than my two channel because I don't know, the two channel, you just keep turning it and then you see it if it's out of your sight, you know? This one's a little bit more difficult, but still fun. We're, this is one of the first times I've tried it at night. I've tried it once before, but didn't fly it for very uh, very long. So, oh, looks like the battery door is open again. That's the only problem with all these lights. Battery door doesn't want to stay closed. Let's go. Come back towards me. It's a great when it's coming towards you, but you can't always be going towards you. Get it turned around. I'm I'm sure half of this you can't see. But guys, flying planes, that's, this is my first uh, plane video. Whoa, I almost lost it. I 
Um, guys, while I'm doing this, since half of this you probably can't see, and the other half, all you see is some lights, probably. Uh, I just wanted to talk about some things coming to the channel. I got some more of the history of an RC addict coming. Um, guys, I also want to do some mail day, you know, like when I get RC mail, kind of show you what I got. So I got, I'm going to have a video like that come in. Mostly though, I want to do some more bashing. I'll show you some more of my cars, you know, with the history of an RC addict. And just have fun with RCs. And uh, for those of you who have subscribed, I want to say thank you so much. It's kind of fun. I wasn't really, I don't know. I just started this to have fun and, but it's cool to think, you know, that I have some people that are watching all my videos and having and enjoying them, hopefully. So if you subscribe, thank you. I appreciate it. I got, so I told you I have one of the two channel planes like this with lights. It's a little bit easier to fly at night because it's two channel. All you have is, you know, throttle and left and right. The way those work is uh, they have two motors, one on each uh, wing. Where, uh oh, where we go? Oh, there we are. And uh, when you turn, when you turn, one of them go, you know, spins faster than the other one, and that makes it turn. And that has a gyro in it, so that I don't know if you guys. Excuse me, sorry, I finished what my sentence before I move to the next sentence here. It has a gyro in it so that it can only turn a certain amount. Just like this one right now, I have this one on beginner mode, which prevents it from flipping over and doing rolls, prevents it from, uh, you know, turning too much. I'm going to try a trick, though. Loop. Yeah. So this one on beginner mode has a function where it'll do an automatic trick. It'll do a loop if you hit down. If you hit, you push a button, and then while you're pushing that button, if you push down, it'll do a loop. If you push left, it'll do a roll to the left. And if you push right, it'll do a roll to the right, which is pretty fun. Guys. This one is pretty fun just to drive around, you know, drive around, fly around. But what I was saying, I bought another, I have this two channel plane. I bought another one and they went on sale on Amazon. They're normally on there for like around 50 bucks, 56, something like that. But they were on sale for 33 bucks with the lights, long shipping. I'm, I imagine it's from China or something. Shipping is going to be a few more weeks before I get it, a couple more weeks. But I plan on doing a video because the cool part about it is, oh wow, that you put it together yourself. So I was going to do it, but it's super simple, like I think it's three screws, something like that. Super simple to put together, two channels, super simple to fly as long as you don't fly in wind. Same with this one, you, the wind gets too much for this one and yeah, it's hard to fly, but this one flies okay in the wind, has enough power to power against the wind depending on how much wind. The two channel one, if you go in much wind, the wind will take it. And you will fly into a tree and lose it or you know it'll fly away from, you know, it'll get away from you and you, very can very easily lose it I, I have a friend who lost one he actually didn't lose it. it he flew it accidentally onto the top of a large building we had planned on coming and trying to get it back and by the time we did and i don't know if wind came and took it but it was gone but my very first rc airplane i lost at this park in this giant tree right in front of me, right there. 
Uh, and I could never see where it was. I never found it. Actually, sort of my second RC airplane, my first one. Because originally I was like, you know what, RC airplanes, you're, you're going to crash it, especially as a beginner. And what's going to happen when you crash it? You're going to break it. It's going to fall to pieces and it's going to cost a bunch of money to fix it or you have to buy a new one. So I was like, nah, I'm not going to do RC airplanes. I'm, I'm happy with RC cars and trucks. But then I found, I saw this thing called Power Up 4.0, I think it's called. And it's a motor thing you can get to put on uh, paper airplanes. And if you break, if you crash and the paper airplane breaks, you make a new paper airplane, you put the motor on that. So I thought, well, hey, you know, that's not going to break all the time. And I got one of those and I lost that in a tree. I have a story about that. That's another idea I have for uh, videos is do uh, like a RC stories. The stories about funny stories of, I have a pretty funny story about losing that uh, paper, the motorized paper airplane. It wound up, I don't, not really a fan of it because you only get like, oh, where'd we go? Oh, there we are. You only get a, like a one minute flight or 30 seconds and it, you know, comes down and the, and you control it with an app. You control it on your phone. You don't have a controller. And uh, you only get 30 second minute flight and it, and it comes down there. Wow, a minute. You did great. The app says, you know, kind of boring. You have to go pick it up all the time. Not boring. It was fun. But, and I have to say, I appreciate it because it really got me into RC pl planes. But when I realized that some of these small ones, like this one right here, or especially even that two channel one is even a little bit smaller than this one. But you crash them and nothing happens. On this one, the propeller pops off intentionally so that it doesn't break. So I've been a little bit concerned about it at night, you know. I actually bought, and for a friend, I need to do it on one of mine, I bought some uh, glow-in-the-dark paint. And we painted his uh, propeller for his. So when he, and we put lights on it. So when he goes out, uh, Come back. Where am I? Oh, I almost crashed it there. Stay closer to me here. There we are. I lost it again. You know what? I'm going to bring it in. It's getting a little to where I can hardly see it. There we are. All right. Where do we got the propellers? Right there. Whoops. I keep doing that when I set it down. Turning the throttle on. Throw the propeller back on. And we're going to call that a video, man. I, I had a lot of fun. Mainly, I wanted to come out. I had uh, gone out a few days ago with a friend, flew, flew the planes, and I had charge an extra battery I wanted to come out and use the battery and talk to you guys and get a video up it's been over a week I've been wanting to get some more videos up so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know subscribe like and we'll see you again next time later y'all